<clears throat> Hi guys, how are you all today morning? Good morning. Today is 21st December 2022. We shall talk about the concluding part of the life story of Joseph Stalin in our case histories that vouch for the problem, coming events cast their shadows before. Now, Joseph Stalin began acquiring power in the early 20s of the Communist USSR. Lenin was already dead and Trotsky was in exile. As a general secretary of the Communist Party of USSR Russia, Stalin became slowly an autocrat thanks to his own psycho fans and self-serving selfish friends. Stalin became all-powerful. He was already bloodthirsty, sadistic and vindictive. In a series of purges and calculated collectivization programs. He killed almost 10 million Russians in the next 32 years. Nobody was there to stop this demon. Everyone was scared of this man. He was such a ghoul that he turned Russia into several rivers of blood. And then in 1939, the Second World War came. In 1939, the evil and devilish Hitler, who had had a run of success in the past 10 or 11 years, finally met his match in Joseph Vizarionovich Jugashvili alias Stalin when he found that this man was more bloodthirsty than him. In a series of extremely sanguine and bloody battles in Stalingrad, Russia, Berlin and Germany, Stalin ultimately defeated Hitler ignominiously in the Second World War. More was to follow. Now Stalin decided to extract his pound of flesh. He annexed almost the entire Eastern Europe into his fold and made satellite communist countries. China, which was in Asia, also took a leaf from Stalin and his methods and became communist in the year 1949. Similarly, Korea, Vietnam and Cambodia also followed suit and they also tried to become communists all the time. Ultimately, some succeeded and some did not. That is, North Korea became communist and South Korea remained capitalist. In Vietnam, the total was made into communists. Same was the case with Kampuchea. It so happened that because of this all, 
the whole world was divided into two parts, the communist and the capitalist. Stalin was very cunning, very vindictive, short-tempered, cruel and sadistic. He never flinched before shedding blood to seek his own victories. His ill-gotten gains included Russia going nuclear in the mid in the early 1950s. So much so that as soon as the Second World War ended, the Cold War between West of United West of Europe, that is United States, Britain, France, Italy, etc., and the East, that is Russia, China, and other communist countries, the Cold War began between the two. It was and is still a never ending war of competition and show of power between the two parts of the world. This shows that coming events cast their shadows before. What happened to Stalin in 1879 and in the next five years shaped his nature and psyche to such an extent that he ended up as a Frankenstein's monster. The communist revolution in Russia resulted in his show of power. The upheavals during the First World War gave birth to a person like Hitler. These are case histories which vouch for the fact that everything happens because of a particular reason. The root for what is happening today is in the past. Similarly, the fruit of what is today is because of the root in the past. And that is why it is said, politics is the root of history and history is the root of politics. Friendships, animosities, the loyalties, etc. are all based on one's outlook because of what happened to him or her in the past. Leon Trotsky, who was supposed to have been an extremely erudite, intelligent, and intellectual type of communist, had to die an unknown death when he was murdered in Mexico just because of Joseph Stalin, who had a personal animosity and fear for this intellectual. It so happened that one of the fathers of communism in Russia, Lenin, hardly knew Stalin, but he was very fond of Trotsky. Things were maneuvered by Stalin only because of this, because he was scared that after Lenin, Trotsky will grab power. So much so that Stalin managed to keep Trotsky away from Lenin's funeral and thus proved to the vulnerable public that he was a traitor. This facilitated the exile of Trotsky. We have to be very careful 
in handling situations like this. Kindly let me know what you think of my talk on this subject. Please give me your own expert opinions and ideas so that we blend everything together for the sake of the society. Kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that I may keep reminding you of my other videos. Till we meet in my next video, it is good morning from TSV Raghavan 